Hey guys, and welcome to this edition of Scruff's Garage. Uh, today's video, I'm working on my Jeep Gladiator. I have the Overland model, uh, which comes with uh, side steps, if you can see those, um, by default. Um, however, I don't want those. It's not what uh, I need. I plan to do some off-roading uh, with it, and I think the steps are going to get in the way. And I also don't care for the height of the step. It's a little awkward getting in and out. So I'm going to get rid of the steps, and I'm going to replace it. Uh, with some rocker rails uh, that I swiped off of a uh, Rubicon uh, model. So these are OE uh, Mopar Rubicon rockers. Um, and they install very easy. So I think this is going to be a very simple video. Um, for mounting hardware, you'll need uh, eight of these bolts. These are uh, an M8 by 1.25. Uh, they're 30 millimeters long and of course they have a captured washer uh, as well and then the uh, nuts are an m6 by 1.0 uh, for the thread and again it's a nut with a, uh, a captured washer on it as well um, since i have the steps i can reuse the mounting hardware because the ruby rails will mount in the same uh, fashion but if you didn't have them uh, say you've got a a base sport or sport s or something like that that didn't have uh, steps or rocker rails um, if you needed to go buy the hardware like i said uh, you'll need eight of the bolts and you'll need 16 of the nuts okay hopefully you can see that so this is going to be one of the mounting points uh, so we'll have uh, one bolt that comes up through here and then you also have these two kind of alignment dowels um, these are captured bolts, right? They're kind of welded to the rail, uh, and the nut will fit on the, those. Uh, so these help hold it up to the pinch seam, and this, this bolt will support it uh, vertically to the body of the vehicle. So uh, I'll show you how this looks uh, while we do the installation. Removing the steps will be the same procedure as installing these, but um, obviously taking things off versus putting things back on. So let's get started. Okay, and then a view from under the vehicle. Um, you can see right there. So there's one of the uh, kind of what I refer to as an alignment dowel uh, what, that the M6 nut goes on. There's one there, and then there'll be one on the other side. And then if I can get the glare off, uh, there's the mounting bolt as well. So uh, those go through the the pinch seam. And then there's a um, that mounts up to the to the body of the vehicle um, to support it vertically. So, like I said, taking this off is pretty simple, and installation should be easy as well. Uh, we'll get started. Okay, there we go. So that's how easy it is to uh, install the Rubicon rock rails. Makes a nice difference. It gives it a, a tougher look versus the uh, kind of old man look with the sad steps. Very easy uh, installation. Now obviously some of the aftermarket uh, rocker panel uh, rock rails mount to the frame. Uh, so those would be a slightly different installation. You've got to take out some of the body mount bolts. Uh, so it's a little bit more involved. Uh, but for my needs initially, especially, like I said, I bought these used um, off a Rubicon model. They were takeoffs. A uh, guy took them off after just a couple hundred miles. Uh, he needed steps, ironically. So uh, for the price paid, uh, I'm very happy with them. Like I said, here's the this side. versus this side uh, with the steps. Okay, so there you have it. That's how you install the uh, Ruby rails uh, onto a model that didn't have uh, the rocker guards 
uh, to begin with. Like I said, mine's the Overland model, but if you have a Sport, Sport S, it'd be the same thing. Uh, so I hope you have found this helpful. If you've got a Gladiator uh, or enjoy Jeeps off-roading, that sort of thing, uh, be sure to hit like and subscribe. There'll be more content to come uh, as I continue to work on my new Gladiator. If you have any questions, hit me up in the comments below. I'll be happy to answer uh, anything that I can and uh, help you with your project as well. So thanks for tuning in to this edition of Scruff's Garage. Look forward to seeing you next time.